Why hello there. My name is 25 Buttholes. And today we begin the journey on our new challenge, which will be killing low level black chin hunters, until we obtain 10,000, black chins. This time we have a magic level of 71, and a combat level of 42. With the combination of the Tome of Fire and the Occult Necklace, we will be able to hit a max hit of 33, with Fire Wave. But given the fact that we are only one prayer, we will be risking nearly 1,400,000 coins each time that we die. But before we get into slapping these cowboys, let's hear a few words from today's video sponsor. Forget everything you think you know about mobile gaming, because one of the most ambitious RPG projects of 2019, has just been released. And it's going to change everything. Introducing, Raid, Shadow Legends. Playing Raid is the most immersive experience you'll find on a smartphone, and it can only really be compared with the biggest PC and console titles. And the best part? It's totally free. Unlike most mobile games, Raid has an amazing storyline, awesome 3D graphics, giant boss fights, PvP battles and hundreds of champions to collect and customize. Over 10 million players worldwide have already downloaded the game in less than 6 months. Check out the details on those champions. Wow! My favorite champion, is none other than the almighty, Gaelic. Gaelic, is my favorite champion because he reminds me of a true Alpha Lumbridge Goblin. Oh and by the way, I am personally down for slapping up anybody who wants to challenge my savage methods in a little one-on-one -on -one action, on this savage game. I personally think the game is amazing. But you don't just have to take my word for it. With almost 300,000 reviews, Raid has almost a perfect score on the Play Store. The game is growing super fast, check out this cool road map that they've published. New fraction, a tag team arena feature, and even a new clan boss. Wow! You also will be able to fight with your fellow savage clan mates. They actually have huge plans for updates in the game for over 6 months. So there is an infinite content for you to enjoy, and no time to get bored. You can find me in the game under the name 25 Buttholes, and if you are quick enough you can also join my savage robot clan. So what are you waiting for Goblin Boy? Go to the video description, click on the special links and you will get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program to start your journey. Good luck, and I'll see you there. Ha 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 wow! This is the first company to actually help support the Savage Prophecy, so make sure that you show them some love boys. Now back to the gun show. Now boys let's be honest, there is nothing better, than a ketchup sandwich, and a bottle of toothpaste. But one banging these dumbass gold farmers, is nearly equally as satisfying. Ever since I unlocked Fire Wave I've been taking over the Chin Hill by storm. I almost feel like I have shifted into a legendary status among the gold farming community, as soon as they step into the wilderness it's like they can feel, my savage breath, savage breath, breathing down the back of their skinny necks. You clowns shall die 1000 deaths for trying to steal my precious chins. Take a look at this chin collector, who thinks he has outsmarted me because he has protect from magic. But luckily I know like you know, these gold farmers have the attention span, of a shat. This biker boy thought he was safe and dropped his protection prayers, and that's when I slapped him with a massive fire wave, around the trees, to the back of the neck. Let the chin harvest begin boys, let the chin harvest begin. In between hunting down these chin collectors, I came across a lot of low level jackers, 
who were trying to copy my savage methods, and make a profit off of my gold farmers. This clown by the name of Mega Doodoo probably watched my last video and thought he would copy my techniques. Sorry Doodoo boy, but killing these gold farmers isn't going to be as easy as the professional YouTube gamers, like myself, make it look. Ha 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 wow. I have a lot of people who have been questioning my savage abilities, I even have some dumbasses who try to threaten me and tell me that my clips are fake, but I just take that as a compliment, you know that you have reached legendary status once clowns start calling your clips fake. Let's be clear right here boys, faking clips, is for losers, and I, am a winner. From this point on, I'm declaring myself the best PKer of all time, but you boys already knew that. Ha 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 wow. Stacking up them chins boys we are stacking up them chins. This clip right here, is living proof, that these gold farmers have little to no idea what in the hell is even going on around them. I started slapping up this annoying noob with some massive fire waves to the neck, yet this clueless weasel put on his protect from missiles. I'm sorry weasel boy, but the correct prayer would be protect from magic. Good fight you stupid man. You deserve this death, you deserve this death. Ha 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 ha, wow. Oh crap boys look. We have another jacker who's trying to jack some of my savage profits. This guy by the name of Tarzari, thought that just because he had done a bunch of quests on his low level account, that he was going to have some kind of upper hand on accounts his level in these savage streets. Take this you quest point chat. I'm sorry to break it to you Tarzari, but your methods are outdated, and garbage. Bye bye little Billy, maybe you should consider doing monkey madness, and then talk to the guy who fucks up your account forever. And I know you boys know exactly which guy I am talking about. Ha 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 wow. Oh my god boys, I just one banged, my wife. Ha 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 ha. Oh my god boys. Looks like we have a runner. I'm gonna slap his neck boys I'm gonna slap his neck. Just when this 9 to 5 sweatshop chat thought he was going to make his break. I twisted his ankles with my massive snare. It's time you turn back to dust little man. I delivered a slap that was so massive that it completely decimated his hit points. I swear there is no better feeling than slapping someone down for all of their hit points in one slap, except for maybe having someone blow cigarette smoke into your eyeballs. Either way, we stopped another criminal for a buttload of black chins. Add those chins to the bank boys add them to the bank. Oh, and I guess add another 82 chins to the bank as well, because it's time we turn up on these Jim Carrey psychopaths. I need everybody at home to follow these precise instructions. Go to the bathroom and grab your father's one blade Bic Razor. Take the Bic Razor and shave a line directly down the middle of your head. Now take a bottle of hydroperoxide and pour it directly into your eyeballs. This is how you complete the grand tree in real life. Now boys, many of you are probably familiar with the term, what goes around, comes around. Because what is about to come around to this gold farmer's bodyguard, is something that not even Zezima could have predicted. While I was in the middle of busting down another criminal, I was ambushed by this level 70, who thought that he was so cool because he killed someone who was level 40.
I was so furious that I made some collect calls, and came back 5 minutes later on one of my mains. You wanna pick on low levels bud? It's time you say hello, to my giant maw. But being the new age noob this clown was, he started doing that classic run around the tree and hide bullshit. I then let wannabe hybrid bodyguard know that his tree hiding days are coming to an end. Just look at this cocky little cowboy's response. Oh it's cool alright, just about as cool as this small going straight into the back of your skull. Even though I was lagging, I was still able to completely demolish this Bill Clinton wanker down, and oh boys would you look at that? I smited him down at the very last second. Ha 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 wow. Remember boys, what goes around, comes around. Thanks goblin boy for the free dragon crossbow. Maybe next time you should consider cutting willow trees instead of trying to be a gold farmer's bodyguard. Ha 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 ha. It's going to take quite some time to collect 10,000 black chintz from these gold farmers, but I will not let that get in the way of what needs to be done. Once I reach 10,000 black chintz, I will then be throwing a massive drop party for the free two play players in Lumbridge. Ha 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 just kidding. I will be using all of the profits to reimburse myself for how many times I lost an occult necklace and a tome of fire while making these dumbass videos. At the end of the series we will calculate the total amount gained, and the total amount lost. But let me assure you boys, no low level dark bow clown like this is going to get his sweaty fingers on my massive stacks. Say goodnight ranger boy. I gave you the opportunity to get off, you should have listened. Ha 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 wow. Speaking of Bill Clinton, take a look at this clown by the name of Baby Templar, who was trying to copy my savage methods. Even though I was 10 levels lower than this clown, I was still able to slap him out with the quickness, without any problem. And let me tell you boys, I got a lot of problems, but a dumbass gold farmer ain't one. Take a look at the massive combos I lay down on this biker boy. It's almost hard to believe that a level 42 can slap somebody this hard. Thanks Tim Allen boy for the free 450k. I'll add that to my chest of black chins. We're really stacking up those chins boys we're gonna be rich in no time. Rianu Keeves? Nice name biker boy, but even your protect from magic is no match for my slaps to your red neck. Ha 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 wow. For those of you who are considering making an account such as this one, just know that these clips in this video took no more than a total of around 4 hours of filming. I found that in the early morning times on weekdays is when the wilderness is filled with the most gold farmers, where at night times it becomes a bit more vacant. Unfortunately since I was turned up off that loud, I forgot to press record when I received my biggest chin peak eye of the video. But just know that I one banged him with a 31 straight to the dome, for a total of 291 black chins. Ha 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 wow. Thanks for the free 720k cocky boy. This will be a nice addition to my black chin collection. Luckily for us, all of the chin collectors in the morning, Pacific Standard Time, all appeared to have much larger stacks of chins. And the whole community laughs together as we snatch them back from these pirates. All in all, I would say that for episode 1, we made a serious impact into the black chin gold farming community, for the name of Poop Maniac 7, is now ringing bells all along China, Venezuela, and the United States. Take a look at that total loot boys. 1308 black chins, and a total loot of 6.8 million coins. 
Given the fact that I died four times, I managed to still profit out of this episode with around 1,200,000 coins. But this series isn't about the profit that I personally make. It's about the black money that I confiscate from these black market criminals, who multiply within our savage community like cancer cells. I hope you boys truly enjoyed this episode and stick around to see us achieve our end goal of 10,000 black chins. Also boys please make sure you click the link and check out Trade Shadow Legends. They are the first company to actually help promote the savage prophecy. So make sure you show them some love and let them know how we turn up.